Ryan D says, how did the run game do against Minnesota? We, we just talked. It's really hard to judge it. Um, what, we, what I do want to say is Elijah Mitchell's still not practicing. So mm-hmm. it was a lot of Jeff Wilson and Trey Sermon. Those two are the ones getting split in reps. And then with Ty Davis Price, for a guy that I think has terrible hands, they like throwing him screen passes. I think he may have a, a role in the offense as like the guy who gets the screens yeah. out of the backfield. And, and we, we've seen guys like, okay, Jonathan Taylor was a guy that allegedly, you know, came in the league that didn't have um, – Steph, I'm getting feedback on yours or not, but um, – that didn't come in with pass catching chops. Oh, okay. And and was a guy that, like, went in and uh, and nobody thought could catch the ball. And now you're seeing that actually actually is not the case. I do think your analysis though on TDP not being the guy right now is, is true, but like I think they just need to keep practicing that because I one agree. thing I did notice with him today is that he is a physical dude. Everybody knows that. Yeah. Like there was a play today where you know you don't know if it was going to be a tackle at three, but he he bowls through some guys and like he makes you feel them. And it's like so, yeah. he, and he can he can hit the corner. He has a gear that he's not slow. Yeah. Um, and so, he's not elusive. But if you get him a little space right. with a screen, he might just go 65 yards. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So yeah. I, a lot of Vikings fans today were asking me, hey, where's Elijah Mitchell? I said, it's oh, a good question. I mean, yeah. I don't know. And sure. and and so – He's always hurt. Yep. Yeah. He's always hurt. And the Niners have – Kyle's never had back-to-back rushing leaders ever. So odds are it's going to be someone other than – Oh, yeah. Jordan Mason. I love Jordan Mason so <laughs> much. Um, here's the thing. I'm not a big Trey Sermon fan. You said that uh, oh, Ty Davis Price is not afraid of contact. I'm not going to say Trey Sermon's afraid of contact, but he's not the kind of guy where you watch him play and you're like, oh, that guy is just loves contact. Like he's always kind of dancing. And I, I just much prefer Jeff Wilson Jr. Much. I mean, I think they're similar, but give me Jeff Wilson. Brother, I had an argument ad nauseum about Jeff Wilson and, uh, with some people that I'm not going to mention, but the, the idea that what was this – that they said, I said, you know, for a guy who's your RB4, he's been a steady contributor throughout his entire career. And somebody that box score scouted some yard back. carry or whatever. Else. Back. Exactly. This is a guy who has win called upon, mm-hmm. has actually won. He's actually, how many RB4s in the league can say they've won a couple of football games for their team before? He's like, so I, much better. He's definitely an RB2 in this league, borderline RB1. Yeah, Here's the he's, thing everyone loves Elijah Mitchell. He averaged 4.7 yards per carry last year on a big workload. That's great. The year before, Jeff Wilson Jr. averaged 4.8 and right. had 10 touchdowns. Hell of a player. He just is an upright runner who takes hits, yeah. but also gives them out. And that's why I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I never get too worried about running back. I know it was an issue this year, but I will say this too. Yeah. Debo. Um, no, they're not going to go and say you're going in between the tackles. And I know the incentives in this contract aren't com- like aren't like just you know just crazy. But they're not going to stop this whole idea that oh Debo didn't like his usage as an offensive weapon. I guarantee you that's not the case. And and Debo's going to be getting touches out of the backfield. It's going to mm-hmm. happen. It's not. They're not going to sit there and put him in a glass case and like just say like, you know we don't. Oh no, he's definitely going to get those. And, and if he wants to score touchdowns and make money. He'll play running back. And today he was being he was targeted quite a bit, and yeah. he was for the first time in a while he's got back in there. And it's like I said, once you guys see this, it's going to be really hard. It's going to pick your poison. That's why I don't know um, if it's going to be real easy. I'm not a fantasy nut, but I play. Like it'll be one of those things where I think week to week you're going to see some one one week it's Debo, the other week it's Ayuk. Maybe yeah. Danny gets a couple. Kittle gets fed. It, it's going to be, and that's the way it should be. They're going to have games where they throw 19 times. So, I mean, you might well, right. you might want to invest more in this run game than pass game. I'm just saying. Yeah. Max says, what's the deal with J.C. Treader? Why hasn't anyone signed him? He's older. He got cut by his previous team. I don't know what his injury history is. No, and he's yeah. president of the uh, Players Association, and he wrote an essay this offseason saying that all players should have fully guaranteed deals. So maybe that's what he's looking for. Um, that, that, yeah, like you said, I mean, he's older and he's been hurt. Yep. And he does have some, I think, I don't remember if it was a back or what exactly the issue was, but like there's some chronic, you know, injury potential there. And it couldn't hurt if you're bringing in on, you know, then the, the Niners could afford it. But at this point, you know, August 17th, uh, granted, it's still three plus weeks before the uh, the home opener, but you're going to want to get some reps in. Um, and I'm not saying he can't come in and play. He would fit the scheme. He understands what, you know, but not saying it won't happen, but I don't think it will. LA Faithful says, whatever, what the hell ever happened to Alfredo Gutierrez? He's still there. He said he's not technically on the team. He's not even technically on the practice mm-hmm. squad. 
He doesn't take up an official spot, but they've been developing him for more than a year. Yeah. And he's improved a lot. Like last year, he's big. He's six foot nine. Last year, he couldn't block anyone in anything in one on one at all. I mean, these are NFL pass rushers. Right. Now, he he's actually wins a lot of reps in the one on ones. Yeah. So, I mean, give him credit. I don't know if he'll ever make the team, but he's definitely improving. No, and, and I that's that's good to hear. Yeah. <laughs> because I mean, it, I I think I think uh, you know I might have didn't know I had the same question. I hadn't thought about Al Gutierrez there for a little bit. So. Um, yeah, he's not like a waste of their time. Clearly, he they feel like he um, has a little potential, and I'm sure they have nothing but time. They got years they yeah. can take to develop him. So we'll see what happens. I like watching him do his thing. Dark horse to make the 53. You, you go first. I think I got a couple. Damn, dark horse to make the 53. I guess who, uh, that sixth wide receiver is going to be a dark horse, whoever that is. Could yeah. Be um, Sneed, could and, be and Sean will, yeah. They, will they take six? I don't know. I don't. Why do you need six if you're going to run the ball 45 times a game? And my thing is, I don't think you need to roster a sixth who's going to be inactive when they could find – they, you can get a veteran to come. I just yeah, – I don't think – develop a guy every week from the practice squad to be right. your sixth wide receiver who's inactive. Yeah. One guy that I don't think like, – it's a dark horse question for a reason, so that means I'm not really banking on this, but Curtis Robinson, hmm. um, I, I, I I don't think it will happen. If somebody goes down and gets special teams utility, I feel like he's fairly athletic, the young guy. Um, I'm, I'm wondering – yeah, I, I still feel like there's potential for the Niners to make interesting moves. You know, they're one of those teams – I don't think they feel like they're that far away. I don't I, – I feel from what I've been told, like they're a team that feels that – they don't have that many holes now. Offensive line clearly like they have some <laughs> clear holes, but they don't have yes. they don't have that many. Right, but that I mean, that's not the offensive line isn't when easily healthy. remedied by like oh we're just going to sign a right tackle and you know that just doesn't happen in free agency no. unless it's like and, and you're going to be throwing the the farm at them. So it's like I it's going to be interesting to see what happens. So maybe I don't think Robinson makes it. I don't think there's going to be the, here's my safe response. I don't think there's going to be big surprises. I, I think that it's going to, other than like Grant, what you said about the sixth receiver, I think things are going to go pretty chalk. I would agree. <laughs>